XRP future millionaire and as you can see once again the market manipulators hold no bounds I came on earlier and told you why I was selling at a certain point and why I no longer felt comfortable and this is exactly why we can look at Chiba I sold out at 2765 was my stop loss and look it's down better than eight and a half percent from where I sold it and we're talking about a matter of like six or seven hours and I had minimal I bought it and even with the in and outs I was probably down 50 or 60 dollars and I had like 250 million shares so it was just you could see it coming you could see all this coming and isn't it funny how the close today the daily close had a bunch of people buying in why because of one thing everybody looks for technical targets and Bitcoin closed over 40,000. Well, here's the thing, guys. Bitcoin's only down 600 points right now, but the broader market's telling a much bigger story. Bitcoin's in a lot of trouble here. Now that it fell below that 39,513, it's actually a little bit lower than that. I accidentally moved that earlier. 39,457. We're going to act like that's resistance now. If we start using that part as resistance, we've just come through here not too long ago. We're going to come down to the next area, and the very next area is 38579 But you notice how fast the altcoins are dropping. XRP is down about 4%. You've got IOTA down better than 4%. I'll go about uh, now over 5%. XLM, XDC, 2%. You got DGB at 3.87%. You got VChain at 3.27%, and Zill at 4.52%, and then HBAR at 4%. Doge at 2.48%, but you'll notice a common theme here. We're falling hard, and I told you guys, it's going to be nasty. And here's one thing my audience needs to understand. FUD, the fear of missing out and not understanding technical analysis is going to get you burned. Anybody who's holding just because they're afraid that it's going to the moon, let me assure you, you guys look at me like I'm a guru at the charts, and I call this before it happens time and time and time again. If I thought XRP was ready to explode, would the XRP future millionaire be liquidated right now because of things like this? No. I firmly believe we're going down sub 50 cents. So, and I can see it filled out on the pattern. So, there's no reason for me to do it. It's like I told my telegram, <clears throat> knowing what I know. It would be like me, okay, so think of this analogy. It'd be like me taking a thousand dollars. And I tell you, okay, well, if you give me that thousand dollars, I can give it to somebody and they might get you twelve hundred dollars back. So you get twenty percent. But this person's got a drug problem, so if they're looking to get a fix that day, they might come back with five hundred and fifty dollars. But if they're having a good day, they could get you a quick 10%, but if they were starting to get a little uh, sick because they needed another fix, they might come back and you might lose 20% in a day kind of thing. So I'm not going to play with the market. The market's a drug right now. It's a, it's a bunch of addicts. The market needs a bunch of money injected into it. The Fed took it away. Now it's going to start to bleed out and I'm not going to be a part of it. So that's... The best thing I can tell you, and the other thing is, is if you let your emotion get the best of you, you're not going to be around when it comes to these bottom prices. You will. <clears throat> you're just going to be down 60 or 70%. I've been listening to the same thing over and over and over for eight months about hold, hold. You got to be a holder. The holders are down 75% right now from last year if they bought at any time during that run, especially towards the top. You don't just hold. If you're down 60% and you know it's going down 30%, you wholesale sell, buy it 30% cheaper, and it's going to take you half the time to get back to even. Heck, you could almost get to even just based on how far it's dropped, and then by the time it gets back to where you're at, you're not going to be down. You're going to recover all of your losses. But it's just a strategic game, ladies and gentlemen. So XRP... And don't be afraid of the technicals. If you understand technical analysis, don't be afraid. So we got 8804 as resistance now, as that was support earlier. And now we got 77281 as support. If we break through that, 7538. And then if we break through that, 7222. And that's been a target we've been looking at for a while. Can we hold that area? I don't know. But I always tell you, on a 
uh, slimly traded uh, weekend with the futures closed. Saturday is your best opportunity, but as you get to about 3 or 4 o'clock, that opportunity fades, and you've got to think realistically into the Sunday and then the open of the futures and then back to the trading week. So that's what's going on here, and you got to be very careful here because the whole market is very manipulated right now. <clears throat> Notice I didn't do any video clips. I didn't do any intro. This just needed to be straight technical analysis, and I needed you to listen to me. Bitcoin, and this is an emergency, 39,300 plus. We're gonna, if we use that 39,457 as resistance, and you see the volume picking up on the drop, this is very bearish. And it's going to continue down farther, in my opinion. It could be a big drop. And we've been talking about this for a number of days. And we were able to call out that 5 and 7% market-wide pump, or at least from where it was at with everything down. Everything was up about 5 to 7% from the bottom this morning when we called it. But then I told you guys you had to be out very quickly if you were going to make a swing trade like that. It's very dangerous, and most people, even if they were up at some point, they're not going to understand that it's a 4 or 5% market-wide move. Trap a few people. The big wigs are having a little bit of fun on Saturday. They got millions and millions, in some cases billions of dollars. A 3 4% move is all it needs. And they just had their couple months worth of funds. So, at our expense. XLM's on the bottom side of the 2011. You can see these extraordinary wick pullbacks. This is very bearish. That's telling you there's no buyers in the area. At least what we need to push through. So now you're going to likely get a pull down to 19.4. As long as 2011 holds as resistance. And I have no reason to think it's not going to. So, that's what we're looking at. It's it's not looking good like right now, ladies and gentlemen. One thing I can put on here, too, for some of my viewers, because I don't use this unless I'm on, and sometimes I forget to put it back on. The EMA lines, I don't use them in my personal time, but I sometimes forget to put them back on. So you can see we're crossing back to the downside in the 30-minute, and we broke down under that very bearish. This is very bearish. This is all very bearish, and I think we're coming down to 19.4 for the first drop with XLM. We're going to come down much farther, ladies and gentlemen. In a quick and swift motion, but there is up and down volatility. XLM, I mean, XRP is still, for all intents and purposes, working on a bull flag. But once we break down these little walls here, 77, 75, and that 72, 2, it's going to be a steep drop back down to 57. And then it's likely going to go further. This is a massive pattern playing out. And you guys are going to understand the pattern once it starts dropping down like this. And then you get something like this. And then you can bring it out into the four hourly, and you're going to realize what's actually going on here. Took the elevator up, so you got to take the stairs down the whole way, because that was one big-ass elevator it took up. So now we're creating some uh, market direction. If we pull up at any point and can find some volume, you're looking at this area up here. That's why everybody's intrigued, and that's why YouTube can get away with a lot of FUD, because people are calling for that. Got to understand market circumstances. That can happen, but not until we start hitting some of these support levels so we can get a little more buyers going on the up. So... Just be aware of what you're paying attention to and who you're listening to on YouTube because 9 times out of 10 or 99 out of 100, consider yourself blessed for finding me, you're going to get wrecked. DGB, we've got resistance. And looking at the common theme, we've got resistance here. It's 2145. Now we're using that as our resistance. That was a big support earlier. Even when we fell through that, was still adding a support. So now our next level is 1949 and ultimately we're probably going to come down to 1748. It's just in the four hourly, we're approaching oversold on some of these. So I don't think, uh, unless we have a very quick drop, I don't think it's just going to fall off 100% here because we're going to have to, probably what it's telling us is, is if we had a nice little drop here to about here, we'll probably retest here first before coming here and then we might do something like that. So it's going to be volatile here, I think. But at any point, this can fall off. This can really fall off. You guys are seeing it across the board, how quickly this is happening. So XRP Future Millionaire, make sure to hit that like button. Turn that bell notification on and subscribe to the channel if you're new or returning. If you want to find the community, the real community, join Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. And I give you the exclusive telegram for free for believing in me. There's so many people on here, so many people I talk to on a daily basis. Like, this is no joke. I talk to so many people. We've got 209 members here, be number 210. We've got a lot of stuff. 
<clears throat> I've got my private channel, so everything I comment, I forward into here so that you don't have to go through the hours and hours and hundreds of thousands of chat. Um, it'll be there when you first subscribe. So you get everything that you see in here. We got the Freedom Fighters Network. That's also included if you want to be part of it. There's 15 people in there. The Precious Metals. We got 56 people in here. Um, and then, like I said, we got the Tom's Army. We did a giveaway today. I gave out three free months of Tom's Army today. And somebody won $10 through Cash App. So it was a fun day and all. Be part of the fun. Be part of the growing family. I look forward to seeing you.